Hi everyone, I'm back with the main man, Lord Burridge. How are you, Budgie? I'm bored out of my brains, you know. I'm sat in my bedroom all day, waiting for the games on Saturday and Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next Saturday and Sunday. And I don't know if, you know, I can go back home to Oman because there's a lockdown, a quarantine period. I have to stay there 14 days. And I think it's the same in England now, Kev. Yeah. You come back. Yeah, so that's right. The, the games, uh, the games are coming thick and fast now. Start of the season, so I don't think, um, I don't think I'll be able to get back. You know. Well, but okay. You, you'll be coming to join me very, very soon. And yes. That, you know that'll be my. I would like to stay there because I want to back you on the show, Kevin. That's it. But <laughs> Budgie. I'll give, I'll give you Jamal. Jamal's going to soften you up for me. And then I'm going to smash you to he bits. <laughs> he couldn't soften anybody. He couldn't soften up. He couldn't... Oh, he, he, it's, it's soft. It's not like you. You're, 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 you're easy, easy. You're a little bit difficult, you know. That's why I want you on, to sort you out. Oh, well, you're going to try and sort me out. Okay I'm then, Budgie. Sort you out, bro. Budgie. Sort you out, so I... All right, let's talk about this. How do you see the season going? Real Madrid weren't that impressive last week, were they? Uh, Real Madrid weren't impressive at all, even on, in lockdown when I was off. You, you know, I watched all the games and they got 10 VAR decisions. 10 VAR decisions. No, Budgie, we're not talking yeah, about that. We're not talking about that. That was last season. We're talking yeah. about this season. And yeah, they've had one game. I, I, Leave I, last season, it's gone. You're coughing, you can do I mean, about it. I'm, I'm Come on, if Budgie. Give me a chance. If you give me a chance. Right. And they've got the same damn midfield with Modric and, 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 and Cruz. You know, he didn't even play Casemiro last week. You know, that was a disgrace. He put young Odengard and he put, he put uh, Modric and Cruz and they don't run by the forwards. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. There's no up, back and through. No, but Modric won't do it. Cruz won't do it. You know, even Odingard is playing the old in midfield player. How the hell does Zidane, it's not for me to complain about Zidane because he's royalty. But how can he play, not play Casemiro? He was the best player last year, Kev. Yeah, but he's, he's, probably, he's probably rested him. He probably hasn't had a long time off. He's had a bloody rest all summer long. No, he hasn't. He's been playing, so he's probably had a nice rest. Give him a little break. Oh, but that's crap. <laughs> you know, and then they'll be going to bloody Saudi Arabia to play, to, to, you know, to play a flipping League Cup, you know, a King's Cup, and then they'll be coming back and need a rest. And what are modern day players like, Kevin? Hey, Budgie. Soft. Budgie, the King's Cup. Yeah, the Kings. Yes, yeah, that's all it's for. But you, what I'm saying is, they don't need a rest. In the old days, Kevin, when we were playing, right? Yeah. What did we do? What play did, on. You, play, you played on Saturday. You rested on Sunday, Monday. You played again on Tuesday. Yeah. True. True. You know, the, 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 you don't train. You know, don't train. Just play the damn games, and that keeps you fit. You yeah, know, but. That, but yeah, but Budgie, if we're honest, we're talking about a big squad they've got and he's kept Odegaard, he's got to show Odegaard some, some confidence. It's against yes. his old team as well, who yes. he was on loan to. So I think giving him a goal is the right thing to do. No. Well, he should have dropped, he should have dropped, he should have put him in Modric's or Cruz's place. I would like to see a midfield of Real Madrid, right? Yeah. Of, that's the mayor or where he usually plays, kicking everybody in front of the two centre halves. Yeah. Right? Valverde on the left and Odingard on the right. Young legs, Kevin. Young legs. You but know, they ain't got the experience, Budgie. Oh, I've experienced my backside, Kevin. You need in that in that midfield, you need legs. You need people like Valverde who runs behind. If you were playing striker, you like to see if you know a midfield player running by you. And you know you taking the centre out, out half, centre half out of the all, put the ball in behind him, a little through ball in behind him, where midfield players with legs, you know, can score goals. You know, as I say, 
uh, Cruz got four last year. Modric got three. Not enough. That, that, um, that hey, is, that, Budgie, that is, of course it's enough. They won the league. What are you oh, talking about? It's, if Benzema hadn't been on four. Oh, if, if, if it was a fifth, we'd both be drunk, Burridge. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let me tell you, Modric... Cat is is finished. He's never he's never been a great player as far as I'm concerned. But he's he, in two years ago he bought, he got bold uh, Ballon d'Or. You know, was scoring three goals from midfield. Sorry, it's not enough. It isn't enough. And that's what that's what Zidane says when he's trying to buy Pogba. He Pogba will run on behind you. Valverde mm -hmm. will run on behind. You. Odingard will run on behind you. You know, and then they'll start they'll start scoring goals. They're relying on Benzema, and Benzema's not prolific. You like that word, prolific? Yeah, a lot of blood. Oh, Budgie, you've been doing homework, haven't you? I'm bloody hell, I've been reading. <laughs> All right, Budgie. So, yeah. so that was, that was uh, Real Madrid. Didn't start well, obviously, they're defending champions. What about Barcelona? Yeah. What do you make of the Barcelona situation? Well, they're in turmoil at the moment, to be honest. You know they're in turmoil. I've got to, I've got to concede they're in turmoil. And what and it, what it is why they brought you know Kuman in is to sort out Messi's antics. You know uh, because Pep Guardiola wouldn't you know wouldn't come back. Xavi won't come back. So they brought in you know it's not it's not royalty like Zidane. You know but it's you know the Dutch people. You know what they're like. Yeah. There are. The stubborn, they're nasty, you know. And Messi will have known him as a young lad, you know, at the centre half who took no nonsense. As it, did I say to you? Did I say when Valverde come in, he isn't he isn't big enough to handle Messi? No, they need Carlos Puyol. Did I say that? No, not Valverde, mate. Uh, 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 Setien, sorry. Setien. Setien, yeah, yeah. Setien. Did I say to you? Did I say to you, he isn't strong enough to handle Messi. You need Carlos yeah. Puyol beside him in the dressing room. Did yeah. I say it? Yes, you now, did. Now, Koeman doesn't need you know, Puyol. Right. His, 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 first meeting, his first meeting with uh, Messi, his words were, your privileges are finished in this club, young man. But, Budgie, right? do you think that's well, wise? Do you think that's well, wise? I'm only asking. Yes, do you think I that's do. wise? Yes, I do. Wait, wait. It's turned out. You know, it's he's the only... Pep Guardiola can't say it to him. Uh, Xavi can't say it. But this guy is Dutch. And he's come on. And he's said it. And I... And you see what's happened? It's put Lionel's nose out of shape, you know, <laughs> for a week or two. And it was, I want to transfer. I want to transfer. After but, two weeks, he realised he can't leave the club. His wife doesn't want to leave the club. His kids are in school. I don't think, he, you know, he wouldn't be the same player he moved if he moves to another club. You know, in Barcelona, he's king. Yeah. He's, he's the boy. So who is Koeman to come in and tell the king his privileges have gone? He's, who is he? Because, because he's come in and said, I am this is this is Kuman. This is how we played. You know how we played. Yeah, I know how we played, but I'm it saying I'm asking you, Lord Budgie, the so-called self-proclaimed genius. Is yeah. it right that he comes in and he says to the best player in the world, "Your privileges yes. have gone"? Oh, yes. No, because he's he's going to need him. It is. It is because I'll tell you why. But in ten years' time, ten years' time, Messi will just be like Maradona. Maradona. He'll be like Ronaldinho. He'll be, he'll, he'll be like Stershkov, you know, he'll be like all of them. He'll just be a name. There'll be another kid on the block scoring goals for Barcelona and people will say, he's better than Messi, he's better than Messi. The, the younger generation in 15 years' time, he'll only Bloody, be a name. You're not answering the question. You're good at that, aren't you? You're not answering my question. Well, yes, I've told you. Yes. No, you haven't. I answer 
The question, Burridge. What, well, Cooman, is, is he big enough to come in and... and no, and that's that? not what the question was. My well, question well, to you, my question to you, Burridge, you see, yeah. I'm catching you now. My what? question to you was, who is Ronald Koeman to say to Lionel Messi that his privileges have gone when he's going to need him? That gets them off on the wrong now. foot. It's it gets them off on the wrong foot to start with. No, it's not. It's the right way. It is the right way to come in and say, I'm the boss, not you. You are not bigger than Barcelona. No, you're not. Now go away. If you want to move, get get lost. That's it. And that's what's happened. Now he just come back. He's, he knows his place now. He's a player. Lionel Messi, in my opinion, got too got far too mixed up in politics, right? You do, he's, he's a player. He's a player. He has to. He has yeah, to. Yeah, but he's the best player. He is a fantastic player. Let's get it right, this Kevin. I should have started this before, but he is the best player in the world. Yes. But he's no doubt about. I I think Lionel Messi, but he's not bigger than Barcelona. One hundred percent, I agree. Uh, and and you know, every player before Kuman came in, every player that came in, Griezmann was one. You know, Setien was another. He has to have the rubber stamp, you know, of approval by Lionel Messi. And that's not the way. It shouldn't happen like that, Kevin. It shouldn't happen like that. A player should not, should keep his mouth shut and do what is very brilliant, best I've ever seen at playing football. Yeah, that's but Budgie, Budgie, when you're the best player in the world and you've been at the club all your career... There are you have certain privileges, and certain. Yeah, but, he's, but he's put it. But he's put the. He's put the team in this. No, he hasn't. Now. He hasn't. Nonsense. He put it in. It's, oh, Bar it's Barcelona hiring weak that. managers. That's what it's been. Barcelona I hired agree. weak managers, not I Messi. I agree. I can't so what are you know. talking about then? If you agree. No, but but it's, it's people won't come in, Kevin. People, people, they can't have great managers because they're frightened of Lionel Messi. Nonsense. Absolute, absolute nonsense, Pudgy. Absolute nonsense. They couldn't get Pep Guardiola. They couldn't get Pep Guardiola because Pep Guardiola's at Man City. He's already in the job. But they would not come back. Xavi, I reckon Xavi will come back in a season. Koeman is... Fantastic appointment, in my opinion, on this time and place. is a fantastic app appointment. He'll okay. pull the team round. Okay. You know, so what do you reckon? Know, what do you know reckon what? Barcelona will do this season then? They'll win the league. They'll win the league. They'll win the league. Yeah, they'll win the league. You know, all right. Because at the end of the season, at the end of the season, it will all be sorted out. Kuman's getting his own way. He knows what he wants. He knows what he is. is, is you know why they sold? You know why they sold um, uh, Suarez? Because he's Messi's best mate. Correct. Um, I tell you what, you're on the same wavelength as me because he's Messi's best. A blob for me. A blob. There's two blobs that they've made, getting rid of Suarez. But you know, Suarez and Messi. It was to upset Messi. You know, it was up to upset yeah, Messi. Yeah, but bring him into a place. Yeah, but Budgie, you know? here's the question, then, Budgie. Yes. Why Why do you need to upset the best player in the world and you need him? It makes no sense. Bring, to bring, I, because I'll tell you this. You know when I said to you, you know when I said to you, sell him and buy yeah. three, three, four. I think it's still going to happen. Oh, do you? I do. No chance. Do. Not in a month of Sundays. Get, wait. They won't get seven hundred million. They won't get seven. Budgie, they won't get seven pesetas, mate. It's going nowhere. Wait and see. You when will I, see. When the Lord Budgie says it, it usually happens. You know, I think it's in them. I think it's in their minds. You know, to see what they can get for him in his in his latter years of his career. He's nearly thirty-four now. They, they will. They 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 have Budgie? to get him. 
Come the end, come the end of the transfer window. Yes. You're gonna be on your knees and you're gonna to apologize to me uh, for that I, ridiculous, I, for that ridiculous no, premonition. They, they should sell him now. No, you said they should. You said they would sell him, but it won't happen. I said they should. Sell you him. just they said they sell. would. I will play this back to you, Lord Budgie. That, that if they can get four hundred million pounds, they get it. No four. They're not getting four percenters. He's going nowhere. <laughs> well, wait and see. Well, again, we if will they, see, Budgie. A Saudi, a Saudi owner or a Russian owner. Which there is that four hundred million is is a week's wages to them. Then they would sell him. They would sell him. Budgie. They don't want to sell him. No, they, Budgie. They, but they should sell him because of his age. Budgie. His age. Budgie. Ronald. So, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Ronald. You, Ronald McDonald has sorted him out. <laughs> Ronald McDonald, you know, has sorted him out. You know, because he's stronger than him. Have you noticed in the last two weeks since his whole mess is keeping shut now? Yeah, you know, because you know what? He's got his head down. He's, get to, he's getting to work. What's that down to? What's that down to? Now he's getting back to work because he's, he's decided, he's decided that he's staying at the football club. Well, I hope he does. No, no, you don't. I, you see, dude, you're a turncoat. You're a flip flop. That's why I call you a flip flopper. You're a flip flop, Budgie. Lord Budgie, you're a flip flop. Is the best. You, you say one minute they should sell him. Next minute you're happy he's staying. What is it? You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. You're a flip flop. You are. You're a rubbish, Budgie. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish that is. I'm not having that. I'm, telling you, I'm not saying I hope he stays at the football. There, I've said it. I hope he stays. I hope, but I think that, and I've got this feeling, you know, if somebody comes along and offers him four to five hundred million, he's gone. Budgie. He's gone. Budgie. And, and, I, and that would be, and wait, wait, <laughs> you've, had your, you've had your rant. I think that is. The right way at 34 years old. You know, you rebuild. They've got no money. They haven't got any money. You know, they've got nothing for Suarez. You know, they get because of the because of the it's cost them a lot of money. Suarez. They, I I think there you go. Suarez has gone to the wrong, uh, the wrong Madrid club. Can you imagine Suarez at Real Madrid? Scoring goals. Uh, I, I don't. I can't see him making that move. No, no, no chance. He's with Atletico. <laughs> yeah, no, but not from Barca. Not from Barca to Madrid. No. No. <laughs> what would you if I if I was Suarez and I could score against Barcelona that took me out, but not because my own fault, because he's, he's he's in the head. He's in sixty three percent of every Barca goal is involved in. Either he's knocked it in the net or he a assist. He is, he is a fantastic goal scorer. It's like selling, Manchester City selling Aguero. He's a fantastic player. He's yeah, a but, goal scorer. But, but again... only done it because of Messi. Yeah, but again, Budgie, here's where your Ronald Koeman is doing things. Does he know that stat? Why would you do that? Why? Exactly. It doesn't matter whether he's exactly. best mates with Messi. The because fact of the matter is, is he productive? Yes, he is. They brought it, the, the hierarchy of Barcelona and brought Ronald McDonald in just because they know him. They've known him. He played for the club. He scored the winning goal in the 1991 uh, European, European Cup, Cup final. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, European Cup final. He scored the goal. He is, he is, they know him. He takes no crap. That's why the appointment of Ronald McDonald is at Barcelona. And you Sport think he's going to win the league in his first year? Yes, I do. You know, okay. because I've look, I looked at, if, if, if Zidane keeps playing Modric and they keep playing Cruz in that midfield, I tell you what, it's, Barcelona will batter them. They Come on then, Budgie. Bring it on. Bring it on, Budgie. Oh, Absolute you nonsense. You'll see. You kiss my L L Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. What? Ronald Koeman is going gonna, is gonna to cause murders at Barcelona. 
He's oh, just oh, sold Samedo as well. Samedo yes. to Wolves. Yeah. What, yeah. What, let's let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah. That, let's that, see how it goes. That, that is that is why he's been brought in to rustle some feathers. Yeah, but yeah, Budgie, you still have to keep out. some harmony. Oh, you can't keep harmony when people are just bullying you. Just, you know, sitting <laughs> like a little chicken. He's yeah. coming, I'm the boss, I'm the lion. Yeah. Yeah. You? yeah. You know, all you superstars, get down. You do what I say, you run when I say, you rest when I say. Budgie, yeah, I can't like wait. That. I can't wait to get over there oh, and smash you to bits. I'm going to yeah. take you apart, mate, because, listen, we will see, Budgie, Burridge, Lord Budgie, we will see. Bloody hell, you couldn't take a flipping jigsaw apart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as, as, at least you're not a jigsaw, so there you go. <laughs> Can I go for my blooming dinner now? Go for your uh, dinner, Budgie, and I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Love you lots, Kev. Cheers, Bye. mate. Love you. Bye.